Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Juggernaut. This should be episode 27? 27, I think. Uh, in the previous episode, we found the last microcosm hub uh, by slashing our past and then uh, getting an axe and breaking the wall. We also just kind of like chilled out and, you know, talked a bit. Uh, for example, we talked about, uh, the different horror games that were on my list, uh, to do this month, even though it all got spent working on Juggernaut, which didn't end up being a real horror-type game. I mean, it's, it's got its creepy points, but this could have been not even played. <laughs> anyway, so on the list, as I was trying to describe to you in the last episode, but I didn't have it pulled up. There was Resident Evil 2, Scratches, Fatal Frame 2, Alice, uh, Juggernaut, which we're doing, Parasite Eve, Saw the Game, Fear, Corpse Party, Phantasmagoria, The Eleventh Hour, Medieval, Shadowgate 64, White Day, a game called Sanitarium, uh, Diablo, Alone in the Dark, System Shock, a game called The Suffering, uh, Telltale Games, uh, The Walking Dead, episode, uh, I think, like, the, the first game, not season two, but the first season with all the episodes, I have that. And then I wasn't sure, but maybe Persona? Uh, Persona's got a, like, creepy vibe to it. It's an RPG series, if I remember right. I think I'm thinking correctly. Anyway, but all of those were games on the list of things I might try this month. Um, I knew I wasn't going to get through all of them, and all of them I wouldn't be able to play anyway. Such as Fatal Frame 2, I discussed, had some issues. Um, some of them I don't even know where they are at the moment. Like, Phantasmagoria, I think I'll have to download back off of good old games. Uh... 11th Hour has issues playing to begin with. Uh, Shadowgate 64, I think, has some lag issues when you try to emulate it. Light Day wouldn't be too bad. It's got some errors to it. It's a PC game, I think, from Korea. Uh, Diablo... Mm. That, that would be kind of difficult. The game's old, and I'm running Windows 10 at the moment, which might be why I'm getting so many errors whenever I'm recording this juggernaut let's play I don't know um, but anyway enough of that hello sir a legendary sacred animal Phila uh, vengeance and a curse from 18 years ago are brought back today your past experiences oh no okay now go all right all right I'm going I'm going Am I coming or going? I can hardly decide. I am walking in the deep forest with a map in my hand. Human exploitation has not reached this forest, but it gives me an impression of unease rather than a feeling of nature's freedom. Alone for half a day in the dim forest makes me imagine that something is crawling up my leg or someone is assaulting me from behind. Before I knew it, I was quickly walking. I thought I walked enough to find Dr. Rosen Schneiders. I think that's German. Rosen Schneiders uh, house, but I didn't. Why would someone live in such an eerie place? I recalled the short profile of the doctor. Doctor Bloody Worms, what? Now, I actually thought that entire scenario was going to act like, uh... Oh god, I had it right on the top of my tongue in the previous episode. Oh my god. I can't remember what it was. Not well. Michael Rosenschneider. 19... XX2 now. Biologist, a researcher of Phila, a large carnivorous animal. 
with wings similar to a griffin. His theory voids the established theory of evolution through his discovery of Phila, which is publicized as a living fossil. Gains sudden fame, but no information other than his research paper is available. Very little is known about him. He lives in the Alf Alfergan forest with his only daughter. Phila, a very rare animal, piqued interest by its appearance and the story of its capture more than the research did. It was 18 years ago. I was a student then and was excited to hear the stories of the mysterious beauty and powerful and large winged Phila. Some people said that Phila was worshipped as a sacred animal in Zaire. And if it uh, started in the and if it stared into the eyes of a person, that person would lose his will and his ability to think. And while confused, he would fall sound asleep. Some said Phila spoke like a human. Many rumors spread one after another. And finally, Dr. Rosenschneider uh, captured a Phila despite objections of the local natives. He brought home this beautiful and rare animal by transporting it from the interior of Zaire and across the ocean. It was like an adventure story I needed I read in childhood and made me very excited. However, the reality did not seem to have been so exciting. The few interviews that I conducted so far presented only negative impressions. I want you to know that I am not his friend. It's true that I used to be his friend, but he stopped associating me uh, since he came back from Zaire. I have no idea why he did. As far as I know, he broke off the relationships with all of his friends. When he just got back from Zaire, I happened to see him and he looked as if he was sleepwalking, his eyes looking nowhere. I was concerned and went up to talk to him, but he didn't even turn around. He just mumbled, forget about me, and went away. That doesn't sound good. What? An interview with Dr. Dr. Rosenschneider? Give me a break. I don't want to be reminded about ancient history, such as the doctor and the other related topics. I'm warning you, you'd better stay away from Dr. Rosenschneider. Are you going to see him for an interview? Why now? Just between you and me, I think the doctor is a lunatic and a murderer. There was something kept from the public 18 years ago when he was considered a hero. It would be a scoop if you published it now, but that's all I can say. I say I saw many reporters who were covering the doctor die of strange causes. No matter how much they may pay you, you should quit if you don't want to die. Phone call. Ring, 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 ring. Phone call, phone call. Hello, Jamil. Uh, are you busy as usual? Hi, Scor Scorobus. I just finished the story this morning. I'm sorry to bother you when you're tired, but I need your help very badly. And including the preparation, it may take about two weeks. Can you squeeze it in? Squeeze it in? That's what she said. Uh, just a minute. Let me check my schedule. Uh, the caller was the editor of a magazine, Natureland. He gave me interesting assignments once in a while. Natureland is a serious magazine about nature and the environment. I am a freelance writer. It is my policy not to decline any offers if my schedule permits. I looked at my appointment book and looked pretty tight. Normally, I would decline, but my instinct told me to take this job. When my instinct picked a job, it always turned out to be exciting. I replied without hesitation. My guess is, this job's going to end up with him seeing a demon fly out of someone's body. So, yeah, I'd imagine it would be quite interesting to see that happen. Okay, I can manage. And what is it about? About Dr. Rosenschneider. Do you remember? He, bought, he brought a strange animal from Zaire 18 years ago. Sure, it was Phila, right? I wanted to see it before it became extinct. Right. We decided to future Zaire in our magazine. Uh, headline, something, something, something. We wanted the doctor to appear in the issue. 
As you may already know, he seems to be very hard to deal with. I think a lot of scholars are eccentric. Dr. Rosenschneider seems to be one of the worst ones. I keep saying his name a different way every single time. I hear he hasn't seen anybody recently. It will be alright. Anyway, I was interested in Phila. Is that the right way to say alright? In this case, it will be alright. I think they uh, did a misspell there. I don't think that's the correct way for all right. Do you have all the material? Well, the only material we have about Phila is the doctor's research paper. For some reason, the party of researchers kept quiet about this. All we know is that he found Phila in Zaire and brought it home after causing a lot of trouble with the natives. Even I know that. It is off the subject, but I know he used to have wife and three children. However, only one child survived. His daughter, right? Only one? We want to cover these mysteries about him in this issue. That is why we chose you, Jamal. You are the toughest. I see. At least we made an appointment with him. I'll fax over his profile and the map to his home. I'll pay you double, so I expect you to get a good story out of you. Paying me double? That means it's going to be a tough assignment. Mmm. Fun, fun, fun. Also, while going through that, I remembered a couple of other Let's Plays that I was going to do for October month, which was Bioshock and the Goosebumps that I mentioned in the previous episode, but didn't bring up just now. Uh, at the beginning of this one. Let's see, was there any others? This looks like the same thing as the doll one. That's gonna be creeping me out. I don't know, maybe it's different. There's a small church. Can I go in the church? Apparently not. Okay, we'll go this way then. What do we have? Let's, we're just going to go ahead and search. What do we have here? Another house? Can we enter the house? I put my ear against the door. That's creepy. Why would you do that? Nobody seems to be home. So let's enter. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> what do we have in here? Put my ear against the door. No, 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 Okay, not going in any of the houses, apparently. We should have just gone to the very top of the, the area, right off the bat. Yep, apparently so. Knock, knock. Oh, oh. Hello, miss. Hello, I am Jamal, a journalist. Thank you for coming such a long distance. Please come this way. My father is waiting for you. Hello, doctor. Sound off? There's like no sound here. According to my paper, he is supposed to be 60 years old, but he looks older. Besides, he looked very tired. Nice to meet you. I am Jamail from the magazine Natureland. Thank you for granting the interview. Dot 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 dot. About the interview, is it all right with you if I begin right now? Oh, that's right. Are you from the ma magazine Natureland? Uh, you've come far. Did you get lost? kind of answered this already, but no, I didn't, luckily. I am Rosenschneider. Did you, my daughter introduce herself already? Her name is Eliza? Da, 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 da. They told me over the phone that the interview will take two to three days? 
I prepared a room for you. Eliza will show you where to put your belongings. Have her show you around the house. Let's start today's interview after that. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Please come this way. All right. Thank you, sir. This way. I heard your father was a difficult person to deal with, but he wasn't. People always misunderstand him. He is actually shy and takes good care of other people. I thought he looked very tired. Yes, many things have happened recently. I wish he had never gone to Zaire. If you don't mind, could you tell me about it? I am sure my father will tell you during the interview. I feel my father will explain everything to you, Jamal. That will be great. So we're going to go across the hall then. This is the dining room. It is really big, too big for the two of us. Uh, two of us. Okay. Is there anywhere else to go in the house? I guess so. Okay. It's a pretty big house. What is this room? A little bathroom. This is the only bathroom you can use this one. It's a little mat. Why did we get dramatic music? Ah! I thought I had wiped it thoroughly. I didn't notice the spot under the mat. What happened? The other day I cut my finger with a razor. I cut it pretty deeply and it bled quite a bit. Okay. I didn't see any blood. Oh, I guess there was. Okay. Da da da. Okay, I guess we can leave now. I'm sorry, I feel awkward when I'm in a restroom with another woman. Alone. That's just weird. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna go to that. Uh, Oh, hello. We store some of my father's collections here. Most of these are from Zaire. This must be the, uh, Phila? Still got blood on its teeth. And its eyes are blood red. You were fascinated by Phila's magic, weren't you? I couldn't keep my eyes off of it. This Phila... Oh, crap. How much more power would the living Phila have had? My father and the people of the village were all fascinated by Phila. Are you talking about the village where the f doctor found Phila? Yes, that's right. Phila was the guardian for the people of Kalana. Kalana is geographically isolated from the rest of the world. Phila and the people coexisted in the area peacefully for a long time, and the peaceful life of Kalana was destroyed by my father and his party. Well, that's always nice. Anything interesting here? Looks like an owl. Eliza, what are the stick and mask for? You should keep your hands off them. They used to belong to shaman of Kalana, Zanu. They were made of Phyllis feathers, claws, and skull. They seemed so eerie to me. It's quite natural for you to feel that way, because if they used to belong to a shaman, I'm pretty sure they were used for spells and prayer. I also heard Zanu killed himself. That makes me even more afraid of them. Shaman killed himself, why did he do that? I don't know the details, you should ask my father during the interview. Could this be relating to the uh, tribe island thing that we went through earlier? Perhaps. No, don't want anything there. So I think we can go ahead and leave this area then. Right? Yes. Okay. I should investigate this room in detail before I interview the doctor. Okay. Thought we did. This is part of my father's collection. They all look weird, don't they? Yes. 
already looked at you. When I come here, I feel I can understand why my father pursued Phila. We don't want to touch you, right? Nothing there. I think that should be everything. Okay, apparently it isn't. What am I missing? Blood red. Why is it still blood red? Okay, now that's everything. There's a toilet next to the stairs. We are sorry it's not in the washroom. Okay. Nah, that's alright. This is your room. I hope it's not too small. That is my room. Please don't hesitate to come if you need me. Alright, let's take a look at my room. Nah, it's not too small. It's got a bed, you know, a painting, a table. All I could possibly need. I wish I could take a little nap, but I must do the interview first. Alright, so that's this room. Hello? Come on, knock on the door. This is Eliza's room, I don't need to go there now. Okay, that works for me. What is all the way down the hall? Nothing. I'm not allowed to go down the hall. I'm not even allowed to have a map in this area. What's up with that? No map? No map is suicide. Who needs a map? No one needs a map. Let me think here. So we went through that room. I think we've gone through these rooms. I'm wanting to say we need to go back in here. Yes. I've investigated the house, sir. Doctor is looking at me with vacant eyes. Uh. Can I not talk to him? Apparently not. I'm going to have to look around the rest of the house. I guess now that I'm alone, I can take a closer look at some things, maybe. I don't know. Dishes. It's neatly organized. Maybe I need to go check that bathroom, and there's going to be like something like, oh, not all that blood could have come from your finger or something, you know? Something dumb like that. I don't know. I get a feeling that this is going to be, like, very anticlimactic, but it's going to be creepy. In its own right. So far, it's actually kind of reminded me of the... This story, I think it was called Heart in the Darkness? Heart of Darkness or something like that? It's actually about getting to the center of a, a jungle path, if I remember right. It was a good book. It was a good book. The Heart of Darkness. Can't look at you yet. Okay, nothing interesting then. Did I miss something in my room? Anything at all. I put down the briefcase and hung my jacket in the closet. I pulled out a note pad and wrote some memos. Memo 1. 
If the great amount of blood in the bathroom really realizes... Memo 2. What was the feeling when I touched the mask? Memo 3. What was that on the claws and fangs of Phila? Memo 4. Why did the shaman kill himself? Memo 5. Why did the doctor, who always refused to see people, agree to be interviewed? My instinct as a reporter was telling me that there was something wrong. Imagine now I can probably go talk to the, uh, the doctor. I'll stop by Eliza's room first, though. Just in case. Hello? Nope. Okay. Down to the doctor. And no, he's not a Time Lord. Or at least I hope not. Not in this game. Alright, all the way down and to the right. I imagine at some point the Phil is going to escape his little prison. Even though he's supposed to be dead. Did Eliza show you around the house? Yes, she did. May we start the interview now? Sure. I believe the editorial staff at Natureland told you about the point of the interview. I would like to ask you mainly about Zaire. Hmm. First of all, how many years ago did you go to Zaire? When I was young, I went between Africa and here many times. I visited Zaire often, but 18 years ago I stayed there for a long time in search of Phila. I heard you formed a large search party then. Yes, I did. I was going to stay for a while, so I brought my family. I was stupid. Did anything happen to them? They were killed in Kalana, Sire. Kalana. That's the village where you found Phila, wasn't it? Yes, my wife and two children were killed there. Eighteen years has passed, but I still remember those days like yesterday. Were they killed by an epidemic? No. There was some trouble with the people in Kalana when I tried to catch Phila. Uh, they were killed then. Where was Eliza born? In Kalana. She was born one month before my wife was killed. God took my wife and two children, but he left Eliza with me. Should I stop the interview? I'm sorry, remembering my wife and children. I can't continue the interview. Can we do it tomorrow? No problem. I am sorry to ask such painful questions. That's alright. You have some time before dinner, so why don't you take a walk? That sounds like a good idea. So, I'm going to go take a walk outside. Oh dear. I imagine they're going to clean up that blood spot while I'm gone. Taking a walk. Mm. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like the church. Something happened at the church. Church bell. Let's go to the church. I believe that one was all the way down to the right. Wasn't it? Yeah. And take a right. Past the tombstone. And into the church. Hello, church. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, no! Father is dead! It was obvious that the priest was dead. The priest's black robe was slashed with some kind of edged tool, and the blood, while which had spewed from his body, had already dried out, turning dark red. And his eyes were gouged out mercilessly. That's, that doesn't bode well. So, 
I'm going to assume the doctor is going to blame that on me. I think the doctor might be insane. Just maybe. But we need to go talk to him about... Something like a gun. I thought someone was going to point a gun at me. Instead it was the door shutting. Odd sound effect for a door. We need to go all the way down. But yeah, I'm assuming the doctor's not all with it. Phila's probably not dead. And the girl knows something about it all. That's my guesses. As good as any at this point. Doctor, doctor! There's been a murder in the church. Doctor, the priest was killed in the church. What? Now the priest? Was somebody else killed? Yes, he was the third victim. Oh, God. Third, hasn't the killer been caught yet? No, not yet. Was the priest slashed many times and his eyes gouged out? Yes. The other people were killed the same way. How barbaric. The police are saying that the wound could be from a bear. But it can't be a bear. It's gotta be Phila. Bear wouldn't gouge out eyes, would it? Doctor, are you alright? You should rest a little. I will report to the police myself. Please do, thank you. The phone is in Eliza's room. Have her call for you. Hmm. Maybe the doctor killed him? I think he is insane. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm throwing the blame on him too quickly. But I'm thinking he's probably insane. Uh, Eliza probably didn't cut her finger. He was probably washing off the blood from gouging out people's eyes. I'd imagine that would be quite bloody. Eliza! Knock, knock, knock. Hello. Can I talk to you for a second? Eliza, can I use your phone? I need to call the police. Has anything happened? The priest was murdered at the church. Oh, no! Eliza, you must calm down. The killer is on the loose, and we must report it to the police. Before there is another victim. Of course. Phone, phone, phone. Oh, no! What's wrong? The phone isn't working. Where's the police station? It's in a town 50 miles away. <laughs> the nearest one is 50 miles away. That's nice. May I use your car? What? Are you leaving now? Yes, I am. Please pull, put it off until tomorrow. I don't feel safe staying home with only my father. Besides, the car isn't in good shape. I don't want it to break down before you get there. I understand. So, I left Eliza's room. Should probably then go to sleep. Or we're, we're probably going to have to end up telling the professor, Oh, your phone's dead. Can I write anything down? No, no. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. It is getting late. I can't sleep. I tossed and turned in bed and finally fell asleep. I don't know why that just popped in my head, but uh, I just remembered. Oh, hello. That totem. From the shaman. I'm, that's not the same shaman. Uh, I just remembered another good one would have been like the newer Castlevania games, like the Aria of Sorrow, Circle of the Moon, stuff like that. Those would have wouldn't have been bad for like a Halloween type uh, let's play. Was it you who called me a little while ago? Who are you? I am Zanu, Zanu of Kalana. Oh, I thought you were dead. My body might have perished, but my soul did not. Now, I can move more freely than before. Unlike you who regard yourself as civilized, we know immortality of the soul as fact. And death is the door to freedom. Why did you come here? I just came to fulfill my pledge to Rosenschneider. 
I can't stay here any longer because you simply touched my mask. If you want to know more, you should hold the stick and wear the mask. But I am not responsible for what may happen after that. Oh, good lord. I woke up. Was it a dream? Did Xano really come here? My body was soaked with sweat. What did he mean by pledge to the doctor? Oh no, let's go touch the stick. Sounds like a good idea at this point. We're gonna go touch the stick, put on a mask, and probably be possessed by Xanu. Let's see, that was in this room. You are still there. Okay, so the Phil is still there. I get the feeling he's gonna disappear at some point. Come on. Go ahead, put it on. Where am I? Where are you taking me? Zanu, you have given gave us so much trouble. Now that you were caught, the rest of your people are easy to handle. You shouldn't have gotten in the way, but cooperated with us to capture Phila. You would have been spared from this. It's your own fault. Don't curse us for this. Zanu? No, I am not Zanu. I tried to scream, but I didn't have any voice, and then my mouth star started take talking against my will. Poor fellows. We are of different tribes, but we are all still Zyre natives. You became blinded by the money and helped them. Moreover, you are trying to capture Phila. Even if, you don't, if I don't curse you, Phila will. You don't need eyes that can't see the truth. Untie me, I will destroy them. Zanu, if you don't shut up, I will destroy your eyes. Go ahead if you dare, you stupid people. What am I saying? Stop. Stop it. Oh, oh God, please do not show. Jamil. Jamil, what happened? Like I said, I can't stand anything around your eyes. I just don't like it. You are yourself again. What is the matter with you? At this time of night, and looking like this? Eyes, my eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? Ah, it's you, Eliza. You probably won't believe me, but I was Xanu. Jamil, you must have had nightmare after seeing the murdered priest. We can talk about it tomorrow. You should rest now. Yes, I think I should. Okay, so... Philagon... No, I'm gonna guess not. I'm gonna go up to my room. Up to my room, up to my room, and back to sleep. Do 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 do. Can I write a memo? Assuming not. Back to sleep. I went back to my room and fell asleep again. What was this feeling? The pain of bound hands and pierced eyes was so real. My mind raced as I fell asleep. That part reminded me of Corpse Party a lot. Hello, Xanu. Welcome back to my mind. Didn't it hurt? Hmm. <laughs> what was it that I experienced just now? That was what happened when I still had a body. After that, I was taken to Rosh and Snyder. My stick and mask were taken away from me. They possessed the power to calm down Phila. I see, you killed yourself because of despair because your eyes were damaged, and your stick and mask were taken away. Ridiculous. Despair is a word for weak people like you. I threw myself into my burning house in front of Ro Rosenschneider because I wanted to get rid of my body. I must be free to fulfill my pledge to Rosenschneider. Pledge? I looked at the clock. Very little time had passed since I went to bed. I wonder what he meant by pledge. I should visit the doctor's office. I've not even really fallen asleep yet. <laughs> okay. Down we go. All the way downstairs and all the way down the hall. My guess is the doctor isn't there. Nah, he'll probably be there, actually. 
Because whenever I guess something, usually I'm wrong. <laughs> with this game. With this game. So he's probably sitting in there. Yep, yes he is. Doctor. Eliza woke me up and told me something had happened in Phyllis's room. Yes, I came to ask about that. What is it? Doctor, tell me you... To tell you the truth, I met Xanu and talked with him. What? No, it can't be true. But it is true. He appeared in my dream and told me to wear the stick and mask in Phyllis's room. And I saw him. I saw Xanu, whose eyes were destroyed by you and your party. Oh, no, that can't be true. Doctor, can you tell me about it, please? I was going to tell you sooner or later. That's why I accepted your interview. But I couldn't make up my mind to tell you yet. But I don't think I have a choice anymore. I have an idea about the recent killings. I was stunned at the unexpected development of the story. I wondered if the murders have anything to do with Xanu. When I was doing research on the ecology of large carnivorous animals, I heard a rumor about an unimaginably beautiful animal in Zaire. I don't. I didn't pay attention to it at first, but the more I heard about it, the greater my desire to capture it. When I summarized all the rumors, it directed me to a specific location. It was 18 years ago when I organized a large hunting party and went there. As I told you before, I also took my wife and children. When we arrived there, I found out Kalana was a mysterious... Thanks for the little update. It was a mysterious place. Because it was completely segregated geographically from the surroundings, it had different pace of uh, evolution from the rest of the world. I still vividly remember how I was stunned when I saw Phila for the first time. To be more accurate, it was like a feeling of awe towards God. I strongly felt that I had to bring it home by all means. That was when my wife gave birth to our baby. Eliza was born about this time of the year, in spring. Oh, it's May now, so it was exactly 18 years ago. I didn't realize Eliza turned 18 this month. We haven't celebrated yet. I felt especially pleased because she was born right after I found Phila. I was convinced that the baby's birth was good omen regarding Phila. In Kalana, however, Phila was considered to be a sacred animal. The people in Kalana, who were friendly to us at first, changed their attitude drastically and started getting hostile, hostile towards us when they found out our purpose was to capture Phila. They gave us explicit and implicit pressures and obstructions so that we would go home. The most aggressive one was the Shaman Xanu. It was quite natural because he was in charge of the worship of Phila. I didn't want to fight, I wanted to bring Phila home peacefully, but that was impossible. Among the hunting party were some soldiers. I knew there would be many casualties among the natives if we fought. One day we succeeded in capturing Phila. That was when Xanu and some others in Kalana attacked us. When I think about it now, they probably were simply trying to free Phila, but we didn't think so at the time. The battle had begun, and it was over in an instant. Arrows and swords are useless against modern weaponry. Once the battle started, I couldn't stop. Kalana was almost completely destroyed. And then Xanu was brought in front of me, his eyes had been destroyed. Then, half-dead Xanu cursed me. Phila, the one you are talking taking with you is sure to cause you harm. 18 years from now when your newborn baby has grown up Phila will revive and kill you all. Nice. And Xanu shook off the men who were holding him and jumped into his house which was on fire. In that ba battle my wife and two children were killed by stray bullets. Only our party had guns so they were killed by our own people. In despair I came home with the baby who had survived the battle and was with a caged Phila. Those tragedies were caused due to my inst insistence in capturing Phila. If I hadn't pressed it, the people in Kalana and my family wouldn't have died. My soul has known no peace for the past 18 years due to my sense of guilt. Since the death started in the village, my feelings of unrest grew even stronger. The face of Xanu glaring cursedly at me with his destroyed eyes still appears in my dreams every night. 
Body with his eyes gouged, it's been exactly 18 years since then. I didn't know you had been carrying such a burden in your heart. When do you think... Who do you think the killer behind these homicides? Who do you think is the killer behind these homicides? Homicides. I have no idea. It's Phila, I'm telling you. But I'm sure it has something to do with the incident at Kalana. Since I am a scientist, though not a great one, I don't believe in unscientific phenomena such as curses or magic. I believe that someone who is alive is trying to revenge the incident which happened 18 years ago. If that's true, we must catch the killer as soon as possible. Sure, I'll come with you. And it has been 45 minutes, almost 46. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this off here. And we'll continue on in the next episode. I'm pretty sure I'm going to split this up into two episodes, actually. Um, so thank you all for watching. We've gotten an interesting plot development here. But, uh, yeah, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. And I will see you on the next episode where hopefully we will finish up this scenario and uh, get ready to start the final scenario. So, I will see you all then.